Welcome to our virtual celebration of life service. It is an honor here at Hospice of the Calumet area that you are here with us today. We hope you will all find peace and comfort through this celebration. For anyone who has lost a loved one, you know that what is meaningful about a service is rarely people saying the right thing and more often it is about just people being there and seeing the impact our loved ones had in this world. There is no one right way to go through grief. What works for one person may not necessarily work for another, even if they're in the same family. Some people find support in reading books or poetry to help understand and work through their grief. Please take this time to reflect on your memories and what your loved one has meant to you. A reading by Elizabeth Amons. You can shed tears because they are gone, or you can smile because they lived. You can close your eyes and pray they will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that they left for you. Your heart can be empty because you can't see them, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can only remember that they are gone, or you can cherish their memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind and feel empty, or you can do what they would want. Smile, open your heart, love, and go on. In loving memory, I thought of you today, but that is nothing new. I thought about you yesterday and the days before that too. I think of you in silence and often speak your name. All I have are memories and your picture in a frame. Your memory is my keepsake with which I'll never part. I will always have you in my heart, author unknown. This is my wish for you by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Comfort on difficult days, smiles when sadness intrudes, rainbows to follow the clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, sunsets to warm your heart, hugs when spirits sag, beauty for your eyes to see, friendship to brighten your being, faith so that you can believe, confidence for when you doubt, courage to know yourself, patience to accept the truth, love to complete your life. In the poem, We Owe Them A Lot by Joanna Flues. We remember our men and women who served. We honor them now for what they did then, the liberties they preserved. Let's never forget their sacrifice, the hard, heavy work they have done. They did what was asked, critical needs they fulfilled, with a telephone, a pencil, or gun. We're happy and proud to honor them. They gave so much more than they got. Our heroes, our veterans kept freedom safe. All of us owe them a lot. Thank you to all our veterans and service men and women. We owe you our freedom. The words of Four Candles, written by an unknown author, can change the darkness into light. The first candle represents our grief. The pain of losing you is intense. It reminds us of the depth of our love for you. The second candle represents our courage to confront our sorrow, to confront each other, and to change our lives. The third candle we light in your memory for the times we laughed, for the times we cried, the times we were angry with each other, the silly things you did, the caring and joy you gave us. The fourth candle we light for our love. We light this candle that your light will always shine. As we light these candles and share in the night of remembrance with our family and friends, we cherish the special place in our hearts that will always be reserved for you. We thank you for the gift your living brought to each of us. We love you, we remember you.
On behalf of the team members at Hospice of the Calumet area, we would like to thank you for joining us to celebrate our loved one's life. For most people, the pain of grief does not lessen over time, but we never forget about the person who died. We continue a bond that always lasts. Sometimes we're afraid that if we let go of grief, we'll let go of that connection. But death can never end that. We stay connected. I hope that this celebration was able to honor your loved one through ourselves and offer us new insights, helping us to gain clarity as we move along the grief journey. Please know that if you are struggling with your grief, you can call Hospice of the Calumet Area's Bereavement Department and participate in one of our support programs at any time. Thank you for sharing this time with us today.